Adept, we need your support once again. Valast has translated the book you earned in Sheogorath's mad play. Aye, she's ready to summon the portal for you. I'll meet you in the aisles. Just hurry if you please, Adept. I'm worried. You'll find the mistress of Incanabula in the desert of Alakir, at the Guild Hall in Sentinel. Good luck, Adept. It's for lost. She's been working day and night to understand these books. She Gorath has a warped and twisted mind, and I worry that this work is taking a toll on her. Honestly, Adept? No. The Lost has a singular mind. As long as those books are cursed such that I can't read them, she's our best and only chance. She's almost as smart as I am. Just don't tell her I said that. Shalador found you. Excellent. I've puzzled out the hints from that last book, and I'm afraid the news isn't good. Your next trial is in a particularly nasty part of the Shivering Isles, a place called the Chateau of the Ravenous Rodent. Not unless you've spent your life poring over obscure Daedric tomes. The Chateau is in the darkest part of Dementia, the Shadowland of the Shivering Isles. I'm worried that... I'm... I'm fine, Adept. I'm just tired. It's become very draining to translate these tomes. Don't worry about me. I can open the portal to the Isles for you straight away, if you'll allow me. Ugh, Zoxus, give me strength. I'm all right, Adept. I just didn't realize how tired I am. Let me answer your question with one of my own. Do you know of dementia and mania? The Shivering Isles, the Oblivion Realm you've been exploring on Sheogorath's mad errands is primarily divided into two spheres. In mania, the colors are brighter than bright. Beautiful flowers bloom and creatures skitter through the underbrush. Dementia has dark shadows, overcast skies and snarling beasts. Dark stone and rattling chains. That's why I'm so tired, Adept. Last night, my dreams were of dementia and the Chateau of the Ravenous Rodent. Uncle Robier's vegetable garden was surprisingly calming. But read into the subtext and things quickly become dark. It's the tale of a plantation. The book describes a well-appointed guest house, a beautiful maze where you can while away the afternoon and a sprawling manse with rooms upon rooms. Make of that what you will. Ariel, make me truthful, I think so. Sheogorath speaks madness and breathes insanity. But when a Daedric prince strikes a deal, they tend to keep their word. Well, think about it. He didn't have to give you any of the books if he didn't want to. If he's gone this far with his little game, why would he stop now? Arrived. Welcome back to the Isles, Adept. We must be wary. This part of Sheogorath's realm is twisted and corrupt. I'm not sure. I've never been to this part of the Shivering Isles before. We're after the final tome, though, so we have to assume he has something truly perverse waiting in the wings. 
Certainly the lost has suffered enough. Yes, it is as I said. She has worked herself night and day. And Sheogorath's dark intellect is focused through those tones. They are like a stain on her mind. I think we have to... Wait, do you feel that? Not so fast there, Shalador. Only invited guests in the chateau. We have standards here. Damn you, mad god! Don't let the door hit you on the way out, Shally. And off you go! Just the two of us. Now we can talk in peace. Ah, my little mortal. I'm a man of many personalities, but I tell you what, they're all very fond of you. The game is a foot. Or a leg. In fact, all manner of severed limbs. But don't worry about that. I've brought you here because I've been watching you. You work too hard. You need a nice little vacation. Of course! This is my chateau. It's me family's estate. Gets handed down from me to myself and so on and so on. <laughs> I think you'll love it here. Or hate it. Oh, one of the two, certainly. Up the road behind me is our guest quarters. But, but silly me! All three rooms are already occupied. Frankly, they've overstayed their welcome. One of them, though, oh, 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 just not fitting in. Could you do me a favor? Could you tell him to shove off? Catch? Such an untrusting soul. If there were a catch, I'd say it's the two of my guests are murderous cannibals. My advice? Don't let anyone eat you. If anyone tries to kill you, kill him right back! And remember, try to relax! Be wary. Talk to these guests carefully before you try to throw anyone out. I can't! Shally! Don't bother my guests! You're the only one that thinks you're funny, mad god! Is someone out there? I can hear you moving. No, not at all. There are things skittering around in here. Hmm? Oh, don't evict me. As long as I ignore the noise, it's, it's quite nice in here. You can't see the poetry of my soul from behind a door. You can't look into my eyes and know that my mind is my own. You can't see the intensity of my truth. Hello? Is someone there? I sent for room service hours ago. Yes, actually. It's very pleasant. Some odd things here and there, but overall... Look! Are you room service or not? What? Well, no throwing me out. Throw me out and I'll have my advocate drag you before the Eleanor courts. We'll strip you of every coin you've ever earned. And every coin your sons will ever earn. I can hear someone out there. Hello? Yes. Wait, no! Uh, is the master playing his games again? Wait, I mean, scenarios. I, I do enjoy his scenarios. <laughs> they taste so yellow. Yes, yes! Evict me! Open the door right now! Or I'll peel off your face and wear it like a mask! I'll claw through this wood and tear out your succulent throat with my teeth! Freedom! I'll add you to my wardrobe!
Hello? Is someone there? I sent for room service hours ago. Yes, actually. It's very pleasant. Some odd things here and there, but overall... Look! Are you room service or not? What? Well, no throwing me out. Throw me out and I'll have my advocate drag you before the Alanor courts. We'll strip you of every coin you've ever earned. And every coin your sons will ever earn. Fine then. My advocate will be contacting you about this. I'll show myself out. But I'm not taking that dreadful portal. That's a perfectly good portal! I should know! I made it! It's been so long since we had guests. You would have loved my old uncle Leo back in the day. Charming dinner conversation. When he wasn't bringing up old girlfriends. Literally regurgitating them. <laughs> Nasty habit. Well, let's see. Now that you're settled in, you should tour the grounds. We have this lovely maze at the chateau. You simply must see it. Why do I need a reason for everything? Mortals, mortals, mortals! Always needing a reason to do things! For example, people like to think light chases away the shadows. I prefer to think that without a few lights, there'd be no shadows to enjoy! <laughs> oh, jolly good, you're getting it! I knew if we spent enough time together, you'd start to think like me! I have that effect on people! It's a bit too dark, actually. Why don't you light a few braziers as you go? Improve the ambience. Find what bumps in the night now. Only two more to go. This trial is child's play. I'm gonna bind you to haunt a little old lady in Wayrest! Does that sound fun, Shally? your favorite part? No, 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 don't answer that. I can see by the look on your face how happy you are. Such confidence! Braggadocio! Gumption! I like that. The last place I'd like you to visit is our humble little manse just behind me. I want you to meet the family! So many fond memories. There was that one time with the scalpel. Oh! <laughs> And all of our family dinners. Ha! And of course, you get to play with the family heirlooms. Aye, we have an old rhyme about him. <clears throat> Four lights in a row, poke one to make it glow. No, that's wrong. And, ah, maybe it was four lights in a trough, poke one to turn it off. Huh. Well, something like that. Remember. Vacations are about enjoying the little moments. Those poor souls. Sheogorath's family. How do you keep getting back in here? I blame Haskell. Apparently not everything is under your control. Not yet, anyway. She won't stop looking at me.
Isn't it beautiful? The most beautiful part of the chateau. You can see why I've held on to the place all these years. Now, just hold on there. Haven't you been wondering why it's called the Chateau of the Ravenous Rodent? Well, you should. And before I give you the last tome, before I reward you and Shelley for all your hard work, you need to meet one more member of my family. Let me tell you the story of old Uncle Leo. Ah, a mortal after my own heart. Well, Uncle Leo was quite the ladies' man back in the day. He had a beauty in every town, from Windhelm to Stormhold. As the years went by and his looks began to fade, it got harder and harder to... Uh, you know. Right. Well, not getting the attention of the ladies the way he used to, it started to drive Leo a little bit batty. And that's when I stepped in. Can't have someone as well loved as Leo all lonely, right? So, I offered him a little deal. I gave him back his looks, his youth. All he had to do was promise never to bed a maiden more than once. Simple, really. And he took the deal with gusto. <laughs> then, a few years later, he meets me all. Cheese for the smart skeever! Leo couldn't resist her. Thought he'd have an out on our deal if they got married. His flesh melted like wax on his wedding night. Became an atronach of my very own. Now, <laughs> all his girlfriends are rats. <laughs> yeah, too much, I'm afraid. Uh, to be honest, it's become an embarrassment to the family. So, as the final act of a courteous guest, go kill Uncle Leo, will you? I'll lug my love before you rip his skull open, will you? would be so proud <laughs> if you hadn't already murdered most of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Always sad to see a good man die. Leo's death just now? Hilarious! <laughs> I should make you fight Norwals on the open ocean! I should make you run a gauntlet of angry Argonian cacamines! But I won't. What's yours? Yes, yes, well, I'm sure you and Shalidor will be very happy with your new book. Of course, the last has been the one doing all the reading, right? Send her my best. And tell her to read real close on this last one. Give the last my best. You've returned. Do you have the book? You've done it. We have them all. Now I just need to closely study the books together as a set. And we should be able to find Shalador's Island. Wish me luck, my friend. I'll need it this time round.
Yes, Adept. I recovered quickly after you left. I'm just... just feeling a little weary. This business with the books you've been collecting, it's taken a lot out of me. These books are like word labyrinths. There are layers of meaning upon meaning, endless research avenues. He's laden these things with oblique references that only someone with my mastery of law would be able to understand. It's very tiring. Like I said, just a little weary. Don't worry, Adept. I'm up to the challenge. I'm one of only a handful of people in the whole of Tamriel that could have puzzled these out, in fact. We'll see it done.